everyone. Uh, well, we're here on my local section of the River Waveney to try out my latest acquisition. It's uh, a Stearns backcountry inflatable canoe, two person one. Bought, bought it cheap off eBay recently. Um, good second hand bargain. It's a decent one, it's got the outer skin on it, which should be more twig and puncture resistant. So you, you have an outer shell, which is like a woven fabric, quite a heavy fabric. Within, within that, they then put the inflatable cells to, to make it obviously an inflatable canoe. Um, so yeah, we'll unpack it, get pumping, and uh, ooh, uh, and we'll see how we go. All right.
Right, let's see how she goes. That's it. <laughs> oh, this is different. Ooh, it's rapids. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I say rapids, there's like a fast flowing bit just ahead there. Um, ooh, we're on a shallow bit there. This is very shallow water. Bugger didn't put his life jacket on, did he? Got you an idea? It'll be fun rowing back up that. Right. Right. Shots off away from 
that. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That. Well, I've just found a sandbar. These are, these are double paddle. It's starting to widen out a bit now across the meadows. Choked up up the top there towards Skull. That was yeah, not the best, I've got to admit. But unfortunately, like most rivers, it's lack of maintenance. Years ago, you used to get the weed cut, a boat come up and cut all the weed back. You used to get dredging going on, you used to dredge the river out so it was nice and deep, reasonably navigable. You know, keep the water way clear of obstructions and overgrowth. Any felled or wind-blown trees that have fallen over, they'd normally cut them back, clear, the, clear them out of the river. None of that goes on now, sadly. There's a young lad, they used to fish the Little Ouse quite a lot, which is the river that comes out the other side of Redgrave and Lopham Fen. It, it basically two rivers form the border of Norfolk and Suffolk. Uh, they both originate from Redgrave and Lopham Fen. You've got the Little Ouse, which heads westwards towards Ely and the Great Ouse, and the one I'm on at the moment, which is the River Waveney, which heads eastwards, uh, ultimately heads out towards um, Beckles uh, and Lower Stoughton, North Sea. Uh, anyway, back on track with the Little Ouse. I used to fish that quite a lot when I was a lad. Uh, and that was always well maintained, that was a lovely little river, beautifully clear water, you used to catch all sorts of uh, chub, dace, so you, get, you used to get some really good sized dace out of the little ooze. Um, yeah, it, uh, grayling, you used to, even used to get grayling at certain parts, um, but I had a look at the river last year, um, the little ooze, and it, it is a shadow of its former self, it is overgrown, choked up. It's really horrible, which is a shame. Yeah, you know, it's just just pure, purely lack of investment and maintenance. Um, and you can see, I don't think you can see very clearly from here, but the, the, the water here on the Waveney is, is murky, and at one time it used to be gin clear. But, you know. Oh, that's, you know, it's it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, never mind. It might clear during the summer months. Might just be a bit of winter winter colour. But this, I've got to say, there's the green and brown scum on top of the water there doesn't look too encouraging. But still, still nice to be out paddling. I need to get a double-ended oar rather than this single paddle. I've got two single paddles that came with this, which are great if there's two of you rowing it, because you have one, one rowing each side. But on my own, I've got to keep continually swapping over, as you can see, to keep it in a straight line. So I need a double-ended paddle for this, I think, when I'm out on my own. But. I've got to say, she handles well. She's a cracking little canoe. So, say for the price of a brand new one, and a, 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 
a lot of the ones you see on Amazon and eBay, they're, they're, they're cheap, nasty, they're like a single skinned thing. Uh, so any, you know, you bump into a twig or a waterside obstruction, that's it, you've got a puncture. I mean, with this, you've got a, a tough outer skin. Uh, the inflatable parts are actually cells that fit inside it. Um, yeah, um, you know, it's a good quality, it's been looked after, it's a good second-hand one. I'm pleased with it. I'm looking forward to having a lot of adventures in this as well. And the other beauty about it is, as well, I mean, I wanted a proper canoe, I wanted a proper rigid canoe, but I've not got a roof rack to carry it. So, this is ideal, it folds away, it packs away into a bag, just stick it in the boot of the car, and that's it. You know. It is perfect, it's absolutely ideal. Anyway, let's enjoy the scenery. Well, as you can see, um, we've hit an obstruction. Obviously, the tree has fallen down. So we're not going to get through that. I think we're going to have to portage it somehow. Uh, let's see where I can get ashore. There's a bit up further back up there, I can probably get ashore with it. Swing you round, point in the right direction. Yeah, all right, I'll go up to that bit of bank over there and portage it round. Hey, get away from that. Get away from that. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, dear. Yeah. Thank goodness for this tough outer skin. You, you know, a cheaper inflatable, that would have been it. Psst, game over. Uh, yeah. Um, from there, it looks like with a cat living. Drinking out of the water there, I reckon that's probably a... I wish I brought my wellies. But I'm going to get wet feet. Without a doubt, I am going to get wet feet. Unless I go over there. I'm going to stop and have a brew and some dinner actually as well. None of those places look suitable, really. Yeah, I'm not going to get a... <laughs> <coughs> yeah, mmm. <laughs> that's going to be fucking muddy as well. You just know it. Oh yeah, that's muddy. Yeah. <coughs> Bear with me, folks. I'll be back in a bit. Right, I've made the executive decision. We're going to paddle back upstream a bit because there's nowhere really that I can put ashore here. It's all too muddy. I didn't bring my wellies with me. 
stupid, I know, but there we go. It's getting close to lunchtime, I'd like to stop and have a bit to eat. So, we'll have a paddle back upstream. There's a couple of spots that I could pull in. We'll have a look, we'll have, a, have a bite. I think we'll go back upstream. I should have put in further down the river, somewhere like Billingsford or, or Hopson even. But I mean, this is just basically a trial run to see how she goes. And uh, yeah, very impressed. Nice little canoe. Uh, all right, yeah, it's a bit of a bugger and a bit of a ball lake to inflate, but she seems relatively stable. She sits on the water nicely. She's manoeuvrable, a little too manoeuvrable actually. She's very twitchy. But yeah, all in all, I think that was worth the money. Right. Well, I'm gonna continue paddling for a bit, and um, next time you see me, we'll be ashore hopefully. Right, as you can see, we've made it ashore. Um, I'm going to stop for a brew and a spot of lunch. And then we'll pedal back up where we started. Might go a bit further up, actually. Might head a bit further up towards Dit again um, before we before we come back. So, lost this space, I suppose. So, yeah, let's get the stove on, kettle on, everything else on. Uh, boil some water for some lunch and some tea, coffee. Actually, I might have a cup of coffee. I've got some coffee bags in the back, in the, in the bag there. So yeah, I'm rambling. So there we go. I always pick up those when I go to Mackie D's. Always useful to have in the backpack, along with the little milk sachets they do and the sauce sachets, salt, pepper. Yeah, all useful backpacking stuff. So, uh, we have a good old Taylor's coffee today. In the bag. And I brought a little. I really ought to put out in a plastic one, really, because this glass one will break. But that's what I had to hand at the time. But that's some coffee, mate, there. So I'll just stick a little, little dash of coffee, mate, in there. Coffee tastes better with coffee, mate. Actually, we'll check the time. Uh, could be a better day, really. It's a bit cloudy and grey, but you know, at least I'm out. I'm outside in the fresh air. Oh, yes, yeah, one o'clock. It's time for lunch. 20 past one roughly, but near enough. Right, we will put our lunch on. Brought one of those uh, to try today. My fair is meatballs and pasta. So, see how that goes. Uh, how can we get that in there? I don't know. But I will tell. All right. Ah, so Easter Saturday. Looks like everybody's heading up towards the coast. The traffic there look going towards uh, Great Yarmouth, Galston, Lowestoft, and all places along the uh, east coast. Not for me. I'm quite happy just to sit here by the river, wait for my kettle to boil so I can have my coffee, uh, get my meal pack on, get that heated up so I've got a nice bit of hot, hot lunch inside me, 
and uh, we'll paddle back upstream. The bikers are out today as well, with the sound of it. Yeah, there they go, look. Ooh. Overtaking everything. There you go. The lunch is on. Let's get the coffee. Cool. It's like the uh, coffee mate's curled a little bit. That's not good. Yeah, that's definitely curdled. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, where's my rubbish bag? Oh, can't wait to get into that. <laughs> Canister's icing up. The gas was a bit reluctant coming out of there. Oh, wait, the eight minutes is up. I've just turned the gas off. Let's get this bugger out of the pan. siphon some water off to make my coffee before I put that in there. Right, that will cool off for a bit. Right, right yeah. Always remember folks, take your rubbish home. That's a bit grubby. It's nice and warm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm. First time I tried one of these. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. I should have brought the long handled sport because I've just got juice all over. Oh, cool, yeah, that's hot. That's the Wayfarer one. That's the meatballs and pasta. Very nice. Not quite up to homemade standard, but it's close. Mmm. Well. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah. with another minute cooking and the meatballs are not hot hot but they're, I mean they're warm through the pasta and sauce is hot though it's hot mm. all right I'll continue enjoying this you can enjoy some of the scenery Yay, big shout out to Craig from East Anglian Bushcraft. <laughs> Got the Haribos out in recognition. Thanks for inspiring us with your videos, mate.
brilliantly appreciated. Keep them coming. Mmm, yummy. Right, off we go. I actually got him without falling in the river. <laughs> it's always a, always a bonus. Right, well they both Uncle Albert. Ooh, the current there a little bit. Oh, right. Just had to swap to iPhone because the, uh, <laughs> the little action camera's died, so hopefully I don't drop this in the bloody water. So I should be gutted if I do. Right. So we've paddled upstream as far as the campsite between Skull and this. And there's a very low bridge that you can't get the canoe under very safely, so I've turned around and came back towards Skull now. Lovely day for it. <laughs> Zigzagging across the river. <laughs> a very dated <laughs> graffiti. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little find, I think I found some water mint. Paddling for a closer look. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, that's water mint. A distinct mentally smell to it. Yeah, I thought that was. Very useful. Cooking potatoes by the riverside. There you go, a bit of warming. And a biplane. Uh, how about that? <laughs> so I'll tie them off. Right, back to paddling. much? No? <laughs>
her in. Here's the big issue with a single paddle, obviously you're splashing a lot of water into the boat. <laughs> Thankfully the seat's raised up a bit, so... A bit of mud on me bum as well, that is, that is mud, nothing else. Yeah, so... I've just got wet feet now. <laughs> oh well. So that's it all packed away, uh, heck of a job packing it away when it's wet, <laughs> I'll have to get it out when we get back home to dry it out properly, but yeah, for a day's adventure on the river you don't need a big bulky canoe, just need, let's get a tripod out of the way, yeah just a nice little inflatable one, backpack with your lunch and goodies in it. Uh, don't do what I did. I'll show you in a second. I bought a camel back, filled up with water, slung it in the backpack, but dickhead here, forgot to shut that valve. It was in the on position and that chucked water inside the backpack. So I lost about half the water out of my camel back. That's all in the backpack. Uh, luckily the camera gear wasn't too badly affected but everything else in there was sopping wet so yeah don't do what I did okay well that's it uh, I will close off now and uh, we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye